Good morning to all of you. This is the fifth edition of the AWOD Hours. We are honoring the most innovative practices and policies we have selected. We are streaming live here from Vienna, and since we cannot help hold a physical conference, we have video contributions for most of the 82 uh, AWODs. As you might remember, we are using an online tool in order to increase the reach of the Zero Project call for nominations. There's also accessible word versions, of course, available. But with this online tool, we have been able to really increase the number of nominations this year. And at this point, I want to thank the people and the team of the World Summit Awards who lent basically us their tool. Uh, the inventor of the tool, Cordian Bruck, and the very supportive Nora Wolloch. Thank you so much at this point, because without you, we would have had much more resources and much less nominations. So thank you so much. At this point, let's start. We will see the seven videos, uh, as Seema said, from uh, Middle East, from Southeast Asia, from Europe, and from Africa. Go ahead, please. What is Jibika about? It is a, a multi-stakeholder approach. It is a community uh, has a huge engagement. Uh, it's a, a marketing linkage, and also it is a climate resilience model where agriculture is more focused. How does Jibika work? The business model is more engaged with the uh, group-based approach and also the family approach. Uh, where gr groups are doing their uh, business savings, capitals, they are making their own capital. We did a lot of capacity building for the market linkage and so they manage the uh, capital and business. And moreover, here we are really uh, engaged for the organic uh, business where the family, community and the market work together. What is unique and innovative about Jibika? It is unique because it's uh, designed such a way where the country like who are more climate uh, uh, the climate resilience and climate related disasters are facing now and then. And here uh, the people with disabilities, communities and the market are working together and they are doing their own savings and also incorporated their other group savings uh, and also the um, other donations also. Uh, so and. This is more unique because they can continue their business by their own if they can learn how to do the marketing and uh, that part we do more in through this business. What is next for Jibika? Uh, urgently we need two things. Uh, we need investment and we need capacity building. It's a one-time investment is enough be because uh, the community uh, and the family are really taking the more responsibility for roll out this business. How did this solution help you? What is BBDN about? The key elements of the innovation are firstly to motivate the Employers Federation to launch a business and disability network that brings in employers on the issue of disability inclusion. Also to garner the support of development partners such as the International Labour Organization and of course connect to organizations that work with and for people with disabilities so that it is able to work on both the demand side and supply side of the labor market system. How does BBDN work? The members of the network pay a yearly membership fee. In addition to that, uh, development partners 
uh, also provide funding to the network for different programs and projects. In addition to this, for specific events and activities, a co-sponsoring can be done also through members and other organizations in the country. What is unique and innovative about BBDN? The main inspiration to launch the Bangladesh Business and Disability Network was taken from the ILO's Global Business and Disability Network. And uh, the main thing that is different about this network is that it is really driven uh, from the employers. While of course um, there are valuable members within the network who are disability organizations, the fact that employers are leading it um, provides a slightly different way to approach it. What is next for BBDN? The network has been growing year on year in terms of its membership and also the number of projects and programs it is undertaking with different partners and stakeholders, both local and international. We hope to continue pursuing that mode of growth. In addition to further explore local resource mobilization next to leveraging um, technology-based solutions and the expertise of all our members. How did this solution help you? What is Mitty Cafe about? What we do at Mitty Cafe is very simple. Um, we run cafes that provide experiential training to adults with disabilities and are completely managed by adults with physical, intellectual and psychiatric disabilities. Our focus is economic independence and dignity for all. What is unique and innovative about Mitty Cafe? The success or the failure of our model is directly dependent on the community. Um, you know, whether it is uh, uh, the corporate that we're working with, uh, the customers, uh, the housekeeping team, or even our uh, competing vendors, uh, they all have to be in it with us, uh, you know, to make this model a success. If that doesn't happen, this model will not work out. And, uh, you know, which is what is unique about our model, that uh, it is community driven and dependent on the community, whether the community is aware about inclusion um, or are open to being aware about inclusion. How did this solution change your life? I'm very happy to work there. I'm not depending anyone. I'm becoming strong day by day. I'm working happy too with people. How does Mitty Cafe work? We majorly run our cafes within institutional spaces, uh, within corporates, colleges, hospitals, um, which are managed completely by adults with physical, intellectual and psychiatric disabilities. Um, the funding to set up the cafes are provided by our uh, corporate donors, foundation donors, uh, also through retail, uh, you know, crowdfunding mechanisms. Once the cafe has started, uh, you know, in a couple of months, the cafe is self-sustainable for a lifetime, which means that we do not need money to run the cafe and to pay the salaries of our team of adults with disabilities who earn with dignity. What is next for Mitty Cafe? first employee was this girl who came in crawling for the interview because at that point of time her family could not afford a wheelchair. Today that same girl sitting on her wheelchair manages 10 other people with disabilities. She is the manager for our first cafe. We want to create a model that could be emulated by anyone across the globe and we would want to share every bit of knowledge that we've garnered uh, you know, towards achieving that.
what is Dev Talk about? A blind person, I can understand the pain of person with disability. And if we talk about the deaf community, they are considered the most marginalized community because of their communication gap. And we are here to bridge their gap. Our value proposition is we are 24 seven available, we are affordable, and we are just one click away from our users. What is unique and innovative about Deaf Talk? Deaf Talk is first online sign language interpretation services. It is available on a mobile application, which is on both iOS and Android platform. It's a marketplace where deaf users connect with certified sign language interpreter on just one click via video calling solution. How did this solution change your life? How does Dev Talk work? Our revenue model is interpretation services on demand. We are prepaid and character. We charge per minute basis from B to T. And for B to B market, we charge per month subscription. What is next for Dev Talk? We would love to be the Google translator for the deaf community across the world. And we are not talking about the minority here. It's half a billion deaf community who are facing that particular challenge every single day in their life. And that's why now we are piloting to Singapore as well. We started from Pakistan. Our next destination might be in Europe or US market, or maybe in Africa, which requires these services on the urgent basis. What is AEMP about? Creative question assessment, parents training sessions, parent department training program, a range of different pedagogical solutions, customized and individualized teacher learning materials, multimedia workstations, parent life projects are the essential elements of AEMP. What is unique and innovative about AEMP? AMP is first of its kind skill building program which has a combination of art, science and technology. AMP offers a range of academic, therapeutic, pre-vocation and vocation solution. AEMP helps to establish multimedia workstation in special schools and transform the traditional vocation education. How did this solution change your life? It is special because it is helps to learn new by me AIMS media team. I like all the activities doing with them. How does AEMP work? When we work with in association with our institution partners, then we share a revenue with them so that a maximum beneficiaries can benefit through AEMP. Whereas, if somebody take a direct admission to us, then we take a small amount of professional fees so that we can offer a customized service at minimum cost. What is next for AEMP? We have been partnered with many institutions across India and neighborhood countries. We are exploring to partner with new institutions across the globe. We wish to establish art studios, production houses and other units to build independent and dignified livelihood for persons with diverse needs.
What is Sao Mai about? Các sản phẩm phần mềm của Sao Mai như bộ đọc tiếng Myanmar, ứng dụng đọc nhạc và chương trình chuyển dịch chữ nổi là những phần mềm hoàn toàn tiếp cận cho mọi người. Nó có những tính năng và những giải pháp về công nghệ đột phá và duy nhất hiện nay so với những phần mềm trên thế giới. À, ngoài ra, nó cũng được thiết kế giúp dễ dàng áp dụng cho những quốc gia khác. How does Sao Mai work? Tất cả các hoạt động của Sao Mai hoàn toàn miễn phí dành cho người kiếm thị. Tuy nhiên, để duy trì và phát triển những cái sản phẩm phần mềm, thì chúng tôi có hai loại phần mềm. À, phần mềm tiêu chuẩn được cung cấp miễn phí cho người dùng và phần mềm chuyên nghiệp có thu phí sẽ được cung cấp cho các tổ chức. Ngoài ra, chúng tôi cũng có cung cấp những dịch vụ tư vấn và tập huấn. What is unique and innovative about Sao Mai? SM Myanmar TTS là bộ đọc tiếng Myanmar đầu tiên trên nền Android và Windows dành cho người kiếm thị. À, bên cạnh đó thì SM Music Reader cũng là một ứng dụng đọc nhạc đầu tiên dành cho người kiếm thị trên nền Android và iOS. Trong đội ngũ làm việc của chúng tôi à, luôn luôn có sự điều phối hoặc sự tham gia của người kiếm thị từ ban đầu nên các sản phẩm của Sao Mai luôn luôn đảm bảo tính thực tế và hiệu quả cao. What is next for Sao Mai? Chúng tôi sẽ tiếp tục duy trì và phát triển những tính năng mới cho phần mềm. Ngoài ra thì chúng tôi rất mong muốn đem những phần mềm này đến nhiều người kiếm thị trên thế giới, đặc biệt là những bạn kiếm thị ở những nước đang phát triển. Vì vậy, chúng tôi rất mong sự giúp đỡ của cộng đồng trong việc quảng bá và hỗ trợ tài chính để chúng tôi có thể thực hiện được mục tiêu đó. How did the solution help you? Phần mềm Samai Rail đã giúp cho tôi rất là nhiều trong công việc sản xuất và chuyển đổi tài liệu sang chữ nổi nhằm hỗ trợ cho các em học sinh và sinh viên khiếm thị. Ngoài ra, tôi cũng là một người rất đam mê âm nhạc. Phần mềm SM Music Reader đã giúp cho tôi dễ dàng tiếp cận và tự đọc các bản nhạc. What is TCS Access Infinity about? The TCS Access Infinity platform supports the ecosystem of publishers of content with the consumers from the visually challenged community of end users in a trustworthy way and in a very convenient manner for content creators as well as content consumers. How does TCS Access Infinity work? TCS has partnered with DFI, the Daisy Foundation of India, as part of our larger CSR program. It's, it's a charity program that supports many deserving causes, and we, as part of the larger Tata group, are proud to associate this in a completely free manner for consumers and publishers in India. What is unique and innovative about TCS Access Infinity? The trigger was that this content ecosystem today lacks a system which can have trust on the side of the publisher, the necessary controls and tracking on the side of the consumer, and the ease of use, which will really drive usage on both sides. What is next for TCS Access Infinity? We have proved that the solution works, at least in the India context. I think it's for larger multilateral organizations, perhaps the World Intellectual Property Organization and others to take a look and tailor the solution for different ecosystems in different parts of the world. How did this solution help you? I am Deependra Manocha, founder trustee of Saksham. I am involved with Sugame Pustakale both as a service provider and also as a user. Sugame Pustakale has brought all the books created in accessible format from the whole country together, becoming a national repository. As a service provider, we are able to check whether a book actually already exists in an accessible format or not, which helps us 
uh, avoid duplication. And as a user, I can just describe it in one sentence that the Sugama Pustakale has brought the reading back into my life. Congratulations to all the winners. You do not get the applause this year because we do not have a physical conference, but please feel our deep and heartful appreciation of the work you are doing. We are very excited to have Rana Mata with us this morning. Uh, hello, Rana, how are you? Let us start with hello, a brief, brief introduction of yourself. Rana, good morning. Thank you so, thank you so much for having me at the Zero uh, Project Annual uh, Conference. Uh, my name is Rana Matar, and I'm the head of the Learning uh, Center and founder of Kursiva Kitab at King's Academy. Uh, my role at the Learning Center is to support students with learning disabilities by providing them different strategies and uh, accommodations to support their uh, uh, learning uh, journey. Uh, for Kursiva Kitab, uh, Kursiva Kitab is a community service project. And uh, Kursiva Kitab are two Arabic words which mean uh, uh, chair and a book. And these symbolizes the importance of education and accessibility for people with uh, disabilities. Uh, the purpose of uh, this project is to raise the awareness of our students on the importance of how to become an inclusive community. Uh, students are encouraged to create projects to support people with disabilities. And these projects are based on the sustainable development goals, education, peace, justice, and partnership. Thank you, Rana. We just saw seven very exciting videos. What stayed in your mind? What did you like in particular about it? Uh, well, I liked how unique they are in having a, a specific like structure, starting with uh, uh, studying or learning more about the needs of people with disabilities. And then they end up by uh, uh, giving them great opportunity to be uh, positive members in the community by uh, giving them jobs. Uh, it also helped them to uh, create like partnership with other organizations. Uh, but I was wondering if they cover a part of how uh, to uh, teach them like uh, personal skills on communication skills and following up on their psychological status. You know, as people with disabilities, when they integrate directly with their communities, they might face some certain challenges that can affect their uh, personal life and their self-esteem. So I was wondering if in future we can see more projects like to cover this part. That's a very good point, Rana, because we are also very keen, of course, to stay in touch, but also to see the development, because now we have EVODES, but of course it would be very interesting uh, to see their development, what they do in the, in the future, and this helps us that we have the repeating theme, so we had the employment uh, theme in 2017, uh, and we had some of the practices and, uh, and, uh, and uh, technologies there. And four years later, you can see how they developed, and uh, it would be great to have some of the results mm -hmm. in 2025. Rana, you're working for the King's Academy. Tell us a little bit more uh, about your organization. Uh, King's Academy is a co-educational boarding and day school for grades 7 to 12 in Jordan. Uh, it was founded in 2007 by His Majesty King Abdullah II of Jordan. Uh, His Majesty's aim was to foster empathy, tolerance, and harmony among students from the Middle East and around the world. Uh, King's Academy blends an American-style education with Middle Eastern history, traditions, and cultural values. Uh, one of our unique programs is the Arabic Year, which is an intensive one-year Arabic language program for students in grades 10 through 12 to explore the history, politics, and culture of the Middle East. Uh, we have 630 students from uh, 40 uh, countries around the world. 50% of our students receive financial aid and 70% are uh, boarding students. And these days, because of uh, COVID, uh, the school created something called the bubble where they invited faculty, staff, and students to live on campus. So we're here until the end of April where we end the uh, scholastic year here in Jordan. Rana, do you offer also career planning services and do you help students uh, to find jobs afterwards? Uh, well, we're opening the space for people with disabilities. Uh, they can come here on campus and we teach them like uh, uh, different uh, learning life skills, personal skills, and also uh, they can help us in supporting our dining hall staff, uh, learning uh, gardening skills. Uh, so we're open for uh, these kinds of opportunity. We had one experience with uh, uh, one staff member. He had a cerebral palsy, uh, and it was a very helpful, successful story for him. 
Rana, we are all suffering from the pandemic on a global scale. Uh, how has COVID-19 influenced your work at the, at the King's Academy? Uh, well, because of the bubble, most of our staff, they left their families now and living uh, on campus. Like, for example, for me, I'm here from September. I left campus in December, like, for uh, six weeks, and now I'm here again. So, uh, psychologically, all of us are, like, uh, struggling a little bit because of the separation from our families. Thank you so much. It was a pleasure to having us, having with us this morning. Thank it's you. a pity we cannot see each other this, this year. Uh, but we hope for the next Zero Project conference we see each other again. Thank hope. you, Rana, for joining us. Also hope so. Thank you, Alfred. Thanks. Thank you. Please stay with us, and uh, we will see now the second part of the award-winning videos. Please go. What is iTool about? iTool is a solution for visually impaired to learn computers. And there are two key essential elements of our innovation. One is content and the second is technology itself. The content is designed based on our deep insights that we have gained over 20 years of our experience in enabling persons with vision impairment on open wage employment um, market. How does iTool work? Our business model aims at providing uh, visually impaired access to the platform for free of cost. And we hope to achieve this by partnering with donors in the low and middle income countries and perhaps deploying licensing fee or a consulting charges for governments and other agencies, business units in the high income countries. What is unique and innovative about iTool? The content is designed to enable visually impaired A, to gain sighted perspective B, to gain accuracy and speed. C, to gain the ability of preventing errors. The technology can actually see the user actions on the computer and provide instant feedback, thereby reducing uh, dependency on expert trainers. What's next for iTool? Currently, iTool is a desktop application. And in next three years, we want to transform this into a global go-to platform for persons with vision impairment. In order to achieve this, we need two things. One is partnership with an impact funder for replication of the solution across the globe. Second is key strategic partnership with international development agencies, local governments and business associations for wider reach. How did this solution help you? With the habit of self-learning with the iTool, I was able to teach accessibility for myself and now I'm working at Enable India as an accessibility tester where uh, I work with a lot of efficiency with a high turnover, high turnover on time to open up job for visually impaired. What is AFB about? Die AFB ist ein privat geführtes, gemeinnütziges Inklusionsunternehmen in der IT-Branche und behauptet sich im normalen Wettbewerb. Die Einzigartigkeit besteht in der Verbindung zwischen professioneller IT-Dienstleistung, sozialen und ökologischem Mehrwert. Die Innovation ist die großartige Zusammenspiel zwischen Wirtschaftlichkeit, sozialem Engagement und Klimaschutz. How does AFB work? Unser Geschäftsmodell basiert auf drei Säulen. Zum einen die Dienstleistung für die zertifizierte Datenlöschung, zum anderen der Verkauf von IT-Hardware über unsere stationären Shops und E-Commerce und zum dritten digitale Bildung, sprich spezielle Angebote für Schulen. Wir finanzieren uns hauptsächlich durch unsere eigene Leistung. Aus diesem Grund müssen wir genauso professionell sein wie unsere normalen, profitorientierten Wettbewerber. What is unique and innovative about AFB? 
Unser Gesamtpaket unterscheidet uns von allen anderen Lösungen. Es gibt viele Inklusionsunternehmen, die in einer Region erfolgreich tätig sind, jedoch kaum eins ist europaweit tätig. Und viele Sozialunternehmen haben kein widerstandsfähiges, systemrelevantes Geschäftsmodell. What is next for AFB? Wir verfolgen weiterhin eine klare Wachstumsstrategie und werden unsere Marktanteile weiter ausbilden. Mit Hilfe der Digitalisierung werden wir unsere Prozesse effizienter gestalten, um uns noch widerstandsfähiger aufzubauen. Zudem ist es immer eine Herausforderung, alle der fast 500 Mitarbeiter an 19 Standorten und in fünf Ländern abzuholen und mitzunehmen. Deshalb investieren wir vermehrt in Weiterbildung und fördern eine agile, länderübergreifende Zusammenarbeit. Was wir noch benötigen, sind zusätzliche Unternehmenspartnerschaften für eine strategische Zusammenarbeit. How did the solution help you? Hallo, ich bin der Claudio. Ich arbeite hier bei der AFB schon seit zwei Jahren. Ich bin hier für das installierende Betriebssystem zuständig. Warum ich hier gerne arbeite, ist wegen der Zukunft. Diese Geräte haben noch lange nicht ausgedient und es ist eine Freude, mit dem ganzen AFB-Team diese Geräte ein neues Leben zu schenken. Und ihr natürlich, die bei der AFB einkaufen, leistet dazu auch einen kleinen Beitrag. Vielen Dank und schöne Zeit für euch. What is Vitibis about? Die wesentlichen Elemente dieser Innovation sind, dass wir alle wesentlichen Bereiche, alle wesentlichen Professionen, die es im Sehbehinderten- und Blindenbereich gibt, für Arbeitsplatzausstattungen gesammelt haben. Also wir decken von der Optik über optoelektronische Geräte, Bildschirmlesegeräte, vom Screenreader bis zur Breitzeile, zur Anpassung, alle wesentlichen Bereiche ab, um eine umfassende Arbeitsplatzadaptierung gewährleisten zu können. How does Vitibis work? Das Geschäftsmodell für diese Innovation ist, dass wir so viele blinden und sehbehinderten Arbeitsplätze am ersten Arbeitsmarkt schaffen wie möglich. Das hat natürlich auf der einen Seite einen sozialen und natürlich auch einen ökonomischen Impact. Die Finanzierung äh, wird über die Sozialministeriumservice bzw. über die verschiedenen Pensionsversicherungsanstalten gewährleistet. What is unique and innovative about Vitabis? Das Einzigartige an diesem Projekt ist, dass wir zum Beispiel für sehbehinderten Arbeitsplätze die Lichtplanung mit der richtigen Beleuchtung genauso anbieten wie natürlich äh, die ergonomischen äh, Aspekte, die zu beachten sind vom Schwenkarm, Schrägpult, was zum Beispiel auf einem Arbeitsplatz notwendig sein kann, aber natürlich auch Softwareanpassungen, äh, dass man zum Beispiel Datenbanksysteme oder interne Software von einem Betrieb ideal als Sehbehindert oder Blinder benutzen kann. What is next for Vitabis? Die Perspektive für die Zukunft ist, dass wir natürlich jegliche neue Technologie für unsere Zielgruppe evaluieren, ob man diese gut verwenden kann oder wenn etwas notwendig ist, halt natürlich das Adaptieren, dass es verwendbar ist. Ein weiterer Bereich ist natürlich, dass wir neue Berufsfelder, die es für unsere Zielgruppe gibt, auch technologisch erschließen. How did this solution help you? Das Besondere an der Arbeitsplatzausstattung ist einfach, dass es halt alle Arten von Hilfsmitteln kombiniert. Das heißt, ich habe sowohl die Brille bekommen, als auch eben ein Vergrößerungsprogramm oder ein Bildschirmlesegerät, sodass ich eben in Kombination mit der Brille alle meine digitalen und analogen Dokumente gut damit lesen kann. Im Alltag merke ich das vor allem dadurch, dass ich am Abend einfach heimkomme und nicht komplett fertig bin. Ich habe nicht immer kopffähig, ich bin nicht total am Müller, sondern habe wirklich auch noch Kraft, ein Privatleben zu haben und zu führen. Und das steigert einfach riesig meine Lebensqualität.
What is IKEA Ab Olympics project about? In Russia, there are 12 million people with disabilities, and only 8% of them are employed, which is a small number. This project is aimed to eliminate biases in the society, but also to reduce the gap that exists in the labor market between the expectations of what the people with disabilities can and what are expected from them on the labor market. That's why we have chosen Ab Olympics movement to be our strategic partner because it shares our values, it's of a huge scale, and also has a very good government support. How does IKEA Ab Olympics project work? In Russia, we have taken a very systematic approach, and Ab Olympics has been a part of that, where we have trained our leaders and our co workers to be more open to handicapped people or to disabled people and to understand and to take away these biases that we many times have and really open up our psyche to be ready to include more people. What is unique and innovative about IKEA Ab Olympics project? The project has become a good example of the partnership between the business, government, NGOs and trade unions and educational institutions and they all help in to create an inclusive environment for successful employment of the people with the disabilities in Russia. What is next for IKEA Ab Olympics project? I'm very happy to say that from 2018 to 2020 we have doubled the amount of uh, disabled people in our organization. Done a huge step, but still it's only the beginning. And hey, all of us, together we can make a huge difference to the many people by being more open and inclusive and allowing for differences in our workplace. You know why? Because it's better business and it's the right thing to do. How did the solution help you? Всем привет! Абилимпикс это очень хорошая платформа и площадка для развития своих навыков. А также Абилимпикс сам по себе он дает возможность социализироваться, заводить новые знакомства, общаться между коллегами, соратниками по делу. И что немаловажно, он дает шаг, толчок к дальнейшему развитию, которого много не бывает. Всегда нужно развиваться и двигаться вперед. Что это и о чем дает понять этот замечательный конкурс. What is Employable Africa about? So our business uses uh, technology and data to help uh, people with disability on transition skills based on five evidence-based practices uh, to support people with disabilities uh, in access to this job, which are self-advocacy, career guidance, job coaching, work-based skills, and career exploration. How does Employable Africa work? Our business model of financial sustainability is based on uh, charging our clients, uh, university and colleges, uh, employers and students with disabilities them, themselves. So uh, we charge an employer based on a commission when we do placement for youth with disabilities. And on our curriculum uh, in Vision Africa, we charge uh, during enrollment. And we have, uh, we are offering uh, transcription, live transcription services for conferences, uh, seminars, classroom, and we charge uh, per hour. What is unique and innovative about Employable Africa? about our solution is its ability uh, to use uh, technology and data. We use data to help organization, uh, student or graduate with disability to make informed decisions where are, where are opportunities and where they can fit in. Uh, we also use technology to ensure accessibility of materials 
and an accessible environment uh, given to people with disabilities. What is next for Employable Africa? We need a platform to enhance uh, our availability. We are offering a very valuable uh, resources, uh, services to African marketing. So we need a platform, uh, a networking, to uh, communicate our product and our resources to general public. How did this solution help you? What is training and counseling for deaf people about? It's a wonderful situation because the deaf pharmacist um, talks to deaf people and to hearing people uh, with his sign language interpreter and we are able to start a lot of activities for people who want the access to this health system in sign language. How did this solution change your life? Mr. Srejo Dolans is unique and his job is unique. There was no one in his situation until now 
working with in public with customers hearing and deaf customers and he recognized the need of pharmaceutical terms he makes videos in sign language just to keep people informed because don't forget there are deaf families who take aspirin against fungus their whole lives because no one tells them that it doesn't doesn't work and it's the wrong medication how does training and counseling for deaf people work I simply didn't think about financing something and suddenly after the third deaf employee was in the pharmacy I recognized what a big need there was. They hardly go to pharmacies or to doctors only if they really need them and this was a perfect way to develop something for deaf people the entrance into the health system and this is I think this is the most important thing we could do. What is next for training and counseling for deaf people? Austrian Sign Language is part of the Austrian Constitution and even the government sometimes forgets about this fact. And so it's really hard for deaf people to get important information. And especially now, during the pandemic, it's very important that we made our films and little little clips just to inform and keep deaf people informed. What is Microlink about? The essential element of our work is to prove to the employers disabled people can be valuable contributors to the organization. We have made the process of looking after the needs at workplace in very quick and very low cost manner so that there is no longer a barrier to employ and to retain disabled people. How does Microlink work? We provide a fully managed end-to-end -end process in which we help disabled employees facing challenges at work by providing assistive technology and a range of human support. By this, the employees will pay for this adjustment which is needed for the individual to be on a level playing field with their peers. What is unique and innovative about Microlink? Microlink pioneered the one-stop shop solution for employers because previously all was done by ad hoc basis. This cost a lot of money and took a long time. When Microlink provided the end-to-end -end solution, this reduced the cost by 80% and provided the solution in a matter of days rather than months. No other company had attempted this before and certainly in the past 10 years the tens of thousands of people have demonstrated the value for money that this brings to the employers and to the employees. What is next for Microlink? Microlink has proven to the employers that doing the right thing is beneficial to them financially and it also makes the workplaces more inclusive. They can now attract more diverse workforce and the disability is no longer a barrier. To scale this up is not challenging because we have tools developed over the years and processes by which we can scale up to any country using the willing employers to employ disabled people. How did this solution help you? Using Microlink's workplace adjustment service has meant that I can have specific support in place and specific assistive technology that makes my life a lot easier and allows me to do my job as independently as possible. I think without this service it would mean that I couldn't do my job and I couldn't be as effective for Microlink as a company. Congratulations to all the winners. Really well done. Hear the applause in your mind and feel our appreciation from the whole network. 
This year's topic was employment for persons with disabilities and information and communication technology.